I'm Terrence Dollard, the host of Comic Culture. We're in Charlotte for Heroes Con 2018. It's day two. We shot some great interviews and we're sharing them with you now. I'm talking with Lee Weeks about, uh, well, your art. Uh, I've noticed that you have a great sense of where light is, where shadows are, what to show, what not to show. I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your thoughts on, on how you kind of compose the shots and, and how you light them. Um, for the most part, I, I, I usually choose a fairly simple lighting to just define form. Uh, it was drilled into me at a very young age to, to pick a single light source, although I've kind of strayed from that a little bit as of late. I experiment with a lot of uh, additional light sources in the last couple of jobs, just because as you look around, you'll see reflective lights and such that you don't always know where they come from. I don't, I don't feel as, as limited to the single light source thing or even a dual light source as, as I once was. But it, for me, it's all, it's, it's all about information initially. The, the first priority is, is, is telling the story and, and, and form and space. So um, I don't know if I answered your question or not. But. Well, it's, it's interesting because when I look at your artwork, it's, well, there's a, a very strong style to it. It's, it seems casual, and yet there's, there's a lot of thought that obviously is going into it. Um, and I, I'm sure I'm just kind of uh, rambling while I try and phrase this the right way, but you seem to have a great understanding of, of body language, of acting, and you make it seem so casual, and I'm wondering, how much you're thinking about that as you start laying out the page and as you start penciling and as you get into the inks? A tremendous amount. It, honestly, there are times I will spend a long time doing something over because I can't get to that place where I see the natural. I love finding that, you know, you have a pose and then at the last minute there's one extra little tilt to the chin. I mean, it'll be just the tiniest thing, but I know that speaks to me somehow, those little natural turns and uh, an extra shift or the way that flesh in the flank area will kind of wrinkle a little bit when you stand on one hip. Those things, uh, I, I just, the, the, I find the joy of drawing and in, in, in discovering and uncovering those things. So, but there are times when that naturalness that looks, which is a casual, mm -hmm. I, I smile because sometimes it is, it, it can be a real wrestling match and and nearly throwing something across the studio to get to that place where, okay, it looks casual and natural, but it's, it's not. And other times it really is, but at other times it, it just happens, but there's a, there's a pressing in that needs to take place. We kind of, I, I, I was speaking with an instructor from a school earlier, just uh, from SCAD, and we were talking about, and I was just saying how it's just not always there. There has to be a pressing in where you kind of get to the place where you're seeing it. It's almost like a matrix kind of thing where you just start to see it instead of, you know, it's not so much the struggling or thinking about rules or thinking about construction, which all those things are Attention. in that. I love the rules. I love learning the rules, the proportions, anatomy, construction, light, shape, all that stuff. But at a certain point, everything has to become so internalized that you don't want to do it by the rules. It has to be so internalized or written on the tablet of your heart, so to speak, that I, I want it to happen in a, you know, just a, a, from a gut place. And, a, and use the rules as a, as a corrective tool. If, I, if I'm missing the mark, I can go back and use that as a thing to kind of bring me back into, but so in warming up and drawing and just scribbling and stuff, there's, a, there's something that happens after a time. Sometimes it happens quickly, sometimes it takes a while, some days it just might not happen. But it's just a kind of a, a pressing, and you just start to see things better. And, and, and a lot of those natural turns and stuff happen, can only happen, and I can't plan them. You know, they, they kind of happen, you have to see it show up on the page and then just kind of dive on it, you know, when it shows up. And is it something where you're, you're looking at it, like if I start to sketch, I find if I work too much on something, it loses the spontaneity. Is it something where you kind of can see that you have it and you can just keep tweaking it? Or is it something where if it's just not going to work, you're going to just try a different approach? Both. I mean, there, there are times when I've just had something right there uh, where I've wanted it or so close. But there was one little thing that I tried to, I got too greedy. And then I just snuff the life out of the drawing, like you say, if you overwork it. Yeah. I also, in, in that overworking thing, there are stages to this. The layout stage, the, you know, the thumbnail stage, the layout stage, the transfer to the board stage. Sometimes I could stand to lose one of those stages to preserve a little bit more of the spontaneity and the, 
the life of the drawing. So. I guess my last question will be, you're at Heroes Con, you're working on sketches for uh, fans, and I'm just wondering, a lot of people come up, they want their book signed, a lot of people like me come up and want to ask you questions for uh, various pu uh, publications and TV shows, so how do you find the time to do the sketches, to greet the fans, talk to the fans, and still, I don't know, maybe sleep, eat, go to the bathroom? I haven't figured that out yet. I, I really haven't. Time, I, I mean, I have a, a, a looming deadline that I have no idea how it's going to get done when I get back home, but somehow it will get done. But, but uh, it's, the time management thing is a, is a never-ending uh, struggle to figure out for me.